Well, I've decided I'm done working on these cat engines. I, uh, I'm not a mechanic, and I look at different thing, ways of doing things. After I finished my last project, it took a little bit. I had to do some, uh, it was exhaust manifolds on the truck, and, and this is an Acert, you know, Acert cat, it's a whole lot different. Two turbos, whole lot of stuff in the way. Uh, you know, broke a bolt, had to call in somebody to help fix it. Uh, tried the welding trick, makes sense, showed us how to do it, and, and I guess I'm not as good of a welder. I know my welder's not as good as his, uh, but I couldn't make that work. So I kind of decided after this project, I, I said, you know what, why am I doing this? There's no reason for this. My skills are driving. You know, when, when I spend all this time working on it, it takes me, you know, two, three, four, five, six, who knows how many times longer than a mechanic would take to do it. And uh, I do have the ability, it's just, I uh, don't have all the knowledge to do it. And, uh, and you know, I, I'm good at electrical stuff, I'm good at, I love doing general maintenance on trucks. Pull it in and, and get everything done and upkept. I really like that stuff. But uh, the major repairs, the, the bigger repairs, I, I'm just I'm not doing anymore. I, yep, I think it's time to do something different. Uh, because what I really love is working on the working on the the truck. You know, upgrading things and, and making it a show truck or, or you know helping to helping to make it fancier. You know, and it's. You know, gets neglected washing and everything else. So, time to spend a little bit more time on the road, less time in the shop. And, uh, you know, when I come in, spend time at home and let a mechanic do it. Seems better that way. So, yeah, I'm over here in Carlisle getting loaded. Hey, look at the mirror. Look at that mirror. I just got the truck washed. I just left. The truck looks great. How do you miss the mirror? Notice they missed it on both sides. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Somehow they missed it on both sides. So anyway, as I'm talking about all the things I want to do, there's a uh, truck show tomorrow. Uh, large Car Magazine puts it on. I think it's called the Large Car Family Gathering, something like that. It's Maple Grove Speedway here in Pennsylvania. And uh, so I'll get to see a lot of local guys. And I'm still dropping stuff from, from Mid-American, but I'm going to have some new stuff. And uh, yeah, can't wait to do that. Let's look at some more videos from uh, Mid-American Truck Show. I still have a, a lot of videos from there. Well, truck looks pretty good. It's here at its new home. Look at all the cool stuff it gets to park around. <laughs> new home, got a new spot here for the, for the Kenworth. Yep. We are in action. Yeah. First truck I saw, this was pretty cool. It was coming up on it. I almost thought for a second it was it was older than it was, but it came up, rise it's a 389. And a uh, guy tried to, it's, it's pretty new. You know, decided to take some newer touches, but still go for old school. It's got an old school bumper on it, the lights on there, the lights on the fender. Uh, it's pretty cool, you know, had a nice new truck. Uh, this one here, this old Freightliner, this is pretty cool and flat top, actually pretty big sleeper for its time. But uh, yeah, this I know is a 1989 FLC. You'll see why I knew that in a second. But <laughs> uh, very nice example from the time. Uh, I remember my dad driving one of these back in the day and these were, you know, one of the coolest trucks on the road, you know, back when he drove one. So uh, it was pretty cool to see that there. Oh, what we got next? Oh, yep. This one here, this one I know is a 359. And we'll show you in a bit why. But yes, beautiful. This has the Corvette dash in it. We'll get there in a second. Uh, but one of my favorite dashboards ever is the Corvette dash. Um, you know, it's just, uh, that's just classy and everything. Look at the switches go way over into the passenger side. Yeah, that's. Yeah, pretty wildy. Very nice touch. Love the color. Yeah, 84, 359, you see there. That was a pretty cool sign he had made, too. Uh, love the little touches like that. But, 
yeah, just a, a great custom job on a on an old truck and uh, you know be around for a long time. So what do we got next? Okay, so this was a Marmon inside, and this is clearly a survivor Marmon. There was a lot of people in there. I couldn't get a whole lot done, but uh, you know, obviously it's not restored. It's probably not going to win any shows. But remember, these Marmons, they were they were the Rolls Royce, you know, trucks at their time, and boy, people really love them. And uh, yeah, it was nice to see. Yeah, this Peterbilt, this purple Peterbilt, really beautiful. Of course, when you see the name. You're going to understand. Yep, it's one of Troy Massey's trucks. Except I believe this is one of his working trucks. He did have some show trucks there that he calls his toys. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was a working truck. Uh, he did say, you know, when I uh, saw him speak, that he did have some working trucks there. And, uh, yeah, I have to believe this is one of them. But still, just some, some great work done on this. Uh, pretty much what you'd expect from Massey. Yeah, yeah, great job. What do we got next? This to, oh, this thing. This color on this was incredible. That army green, and I, I still don't even know what color the actual paint was. If it was black, it looked different up close, but... Uh, yeah, it was just incredible. I don't know if it was black with some green pearl, but that, that dark green through there, the stripes down the side... Just, yes, beautiful truck. Uh, another name you won't be too surprised to see, you know, Rabbit Run Transport. They, they uh, you know, they come out with some nice stuff. You see that new dash, which, of course, leads me to believe it's actually a 389 that they went through great lengths to make look like a 379. But a beautiful truck nonetheless. What's next? We have a, another one of the 389 X's. As you know, I got a thing for X's. I have a 379 X. And uh, this was, you know, a bit of a different color. It's pretty nice work done. Flat top. Uh, you know, nice work done in, in probably a short amount of time. Uh, I also believe this is a working truck. Doesn't mean it definitely is, but I'm pretty sure it is. The Goose, 1996 Freightliner. It was the first truck I ever owned was a 1996 Classic. Look at the door on the front of the trailer. The Goose uses that trailer to haul, but he blocked the front front five feet off, and that's actually a shed where he keeps all of his tools and stuff. Uh, the Goose is, is kind of legendary. Uh, I don't know why it's called The Goose. I never actually got to meet them yet, uh, the couple that drives it. But it's a beautiful truck. You can find endless things about this, uh, you know, on YouTube or, or other social media. Anything you want to know about the Goose, you'll find out. Pretty cool. Look at a more in-depth video. Here we go. B-Model Mac. Yes, one of the coolest little trucks ever. Yeah, B-Model used to have a boss that had one. In fact, he still has it. He retired years ago, but... This truck here was incredible. It had some new touches to it, but the, the builder of this or, you know, restorer, whoever restored it, owner, stayed very, very true to what it originally was with a little bit of, little bit of new school touches. But great example. Orange and black Peterbilt. This thing was nice. Coffin sleeper on it. It was, uh, it really went all out with the orange and black. And uh, Tanyan Brothers, yeah. Them big fenders on there. I think my favorite part about this truck, although there's, I hate to pick out a favorite part about a truck like this that somebody works so hard on, is this back end right here. I really like this. Uh, yeah, it, it just looks good. Here's a section from inside where, where this guy, uh, wait till he gets around to the side. Yeah, Kowser had some historic trucks there, including this old International one there. Man. Beautiful 71 International, 4370. Uh, another cool old truck. This over here, this one here I spent a little bit of time on. A lot of times I'm mesmerized by these old trucks. The B-Model Max, the old Internationals. Um, I commented to my wife, I said, I don't think I could have been a truck driver in 1961. 
uh, I don't think I could have fit in there at all. Uh, the International at 220. Right on the front here, I believe this is the one if I'm right. Uh, it says 1972, but it's actually 1962. I don't know if somebody put that on there wrong, but man, what a cool truck. Kowser, I, I think I'd, I'd like to see if he has any more to that collection. Well, guys, we're going to cut the video off now. I talked earlier about the truck show I was hoping to get to today, and I didn't actually get to it. Uh, we thought weather was going to rain it out. It was calling for rain. Even the radar looked horrible. I'm sure it rained a little bit, but I think the show still went on. I, I really missed out. I'm pretty upset about that, but um, I still got a lot from Mid-America, and we got some truck shows coming up. We got a Make-A-Wish convoy coming up, which I want to talk about here pretty soon, uh, but... Yeah, thanks for watching this video, and uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.